Welcome to the Watchman Channel. This channel is all about world news and Bible prophecy, pointing to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am asking that if you can, to please help to financially support this ministry. If you feel led to pledge any amount of money, it would be extremely helpful and greatly appreciated. There is a PayPal link in the description box and in my pinned comment below. You can also donate using Cash App. My cash tag is dollar sign watchman 1963 thank you all so much for your prayers and support god bless the left's created a culture where victims are heroes the bigger the victim the bigger your social media status it's incentivized young unstable americans to radicalize their struggles instead of just solving them a society hell-bent on promoting mental illness isn't sustainable eventually it gets boring or it leads to death like this and I want to be the first trans woman to have an abortion. The first trans woman to have a successful uterus transplant, ovaries and eggs included. I will have as much gay sex as it takes with as many trans women as it takes and let the transphobes and homophobes scratch their heads wondering what to make of it. A biological man wants uterus implant so he can have unprotected sex in order to have an abortion. What kind of freak show are we watching? Are we just Frankensteining ourselves? Are we doing experiments on ourselves now? And is this even legal? Live action founder and president Lila Rose joins us now. This guy should be arrested. I mean, 100%, Jesse, it's unbelievably sick. I mean, this is a man who's already living under the delusion that he's a woman, he has perhaps a sexual fetish, he wants to take another healthy woman's organs to put them in himself, and then he wants to take the next step and try to conceive to then kill, to murder a human being, a baby, all in the name of his trans cult. I mean, in any sane society, this would be seen as unthinkable. But we're not there, Jesse. We're in an insane society where men can be women, women can be men, and where babies are not even seen as human beings. Usually abortion is for birth control. There's a unprotected sex, there's a, an unwanted pregnancy, mm -hmm. and that's why it goes down. You can't get pregnant in yep. order to abort the baby. That's, that must be illegal. I mean, the horrible news here is it is completely legal to do that. You can get pregnant for whatever reason you want, even if that reason is you have an abortion. And, you know, we've documented cases at Live Action of people who actually have sexual fetishes, Jesse, and go back again and again for repeat abortions. No. And in most states, you can do that. In some states, you can do that through all nine months of pregnancy for any reason. That's the state of America's abortion law allowing children to be killed in the womb for any reason. And that, this is what the Democratic Party is supporting as well, which is make it, making it all the more unconscionable. That's disgusting. Uh, I thought I knew about every fetish. That's one I didn't know about. I wish I didn't know about that one, uh, Lila. Um, it, it is a fetish. You're, you, like you said before, you're taking in a healthy uterus from a healthy woman, implanting it in yourself to just abuse your body and destroy a potential life for a life. Yeah, I mean, listen, this is where we just have to wake up. We have to have a collective wake up moment to say enough is enough. We have to call out evil for evil and good for good. And we have to reclaim a culture that celebrates love and goodness and says, you know, women are, are wonderful. Men are wonderful. Uh, we should support and celebrate human life and we should protect it as sacred. And our laws should reflect the right to life of a child in the womb. No, that's that's not inclusive, Lila. You see, you have to encourage someone to express themselves and then you have a uterus implant and have an abortion. That's just where we are right now in today's society. Romans 1, 18 through 25. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man, 
and birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. Therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness in the lust of their hearts, to dishonor their bodies among themselves, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie, and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Romans chapter 1 tells us God has revealed to mankind that He is the Creator of all things, and that He has made it known to mankind that they are without excuse through His creation that He exists. God demands that we worship Him and recognize Him as the Creator. And when a society does not glorify Him as God, He gives them up to three phases of judgment. Romans 1 verse 24 says, Therefore God also gave them up to uncleanness and the lust of their hearts. The first phase of judgment is an impure heart. The second phase of judgment is of the body, verses 26 and 27. For this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men committing what is shameful, and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due. The third phase of judgment is in verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting. First, the heart is rotten, then the body follows, and then the mind goes. The moral law of God written on the heart has literally been stomped out and replaced with cultural immorality. Immorality now goes in every direction. The mind is corrupt. People don't think right. They advocate all the wretched things and depreciate all the virtuous things. And what flows out of this pornographic, homosexual, depraved culture? All evil. Verses 29 through 32. Being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil mindedness. They are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. Verse 32 brings Romans chapter 1 to an end with a very bleak view of human nature. The point of the last half of the verse is to show that many people not only do things that they know deserve death, but also entice others to do them and approve when they do. In other words, the end point of depravity is not just the love affair with sin, but the desire to bring others with you to destruction. It's not just that people choose death for themselves in the passion of sin, but that they become suicidal at the spiritual level and assist others in eternal self-destruction by approving their sin. We are watching this play out right before our very eyes. Western Heights School District in Oklahoma of all places, hired a drag queen to be their elementary school principal, a drag queen principal in Oklahoma. Dr. Shane Mernon goes by Miss Chantel Mandalay. This is Miss Mandalay at the Little Kitty Story Hour. Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Chantel, and I'm here with the Metropolitan Library to celebrate Pride. I want to thank you guys for letting me come share my stories with you about Pride and being yourself. You guys have a great Pride celebration in the month of June, and I hope I see you real soon. I guess during the interview process, what Miss Mandalay did in her or his free time never came up. This never came up either. The drag principal has been charged with possessing child porn. Yeah, but Miss Mandalay, the drag queen principal, beat the charge. And it was brought to the school's attention. The district said Miss Mandalay had an outstanding reputation, and they're sticking with them. Now, if you were hiring an elementary school principal and a candidate presented himself as a drag queen that beat a child porn charge by the skin of his teeth, would you maybe keep looking for other candidates? I would. That's just me. Inclusivity has become a clear and present danger. Oklahoma State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Ryan Walters, joins me now. So uh, we're going to fire this person, right? Yes, sir. I mean, what you see here, Jesse, this is Joe Biden's vision for America. Drag queens running schools, kids being told there's 27 genders, kids being told they're racist because of the color of their skin, kids being told that America is an evil country. He wants to create America into a Marxist cesspool, and we're going to fight back on this. I've heard from parents all over the state. They want this principle out of the school, and I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure that that happens. Yeah, I mean, this guy's got to go. He's advertising it. We don't have anything against drag queens. Do your thing. But, I mean, this is in your face. And on top of that, 
He barely beat a child porn possession charge. If you kind of put that in an elementary school situation, bells should be going off. Why didn't any bells go off during the hiring? Well, because what we've seen here is we've seen left-wing activists enter into our schools. George Soros has backed school board members all over the country. We see it here in Oklahoma. You have administrators that are more concerned with teachers being woke rather than ensuring that these are people that are not involved in inappropriate material. And I've heard this from, all, from parents, Democrat and repair, uh, Republican parents. They want to know their kids are with someone that's not involved, that's not a drag queen in their school. So that's what we've got to continue to fight for common sense. You know, the liberal media wants to pretend like this isn't happening. We not only have a drag queen here, Jesse, running the school, we found out that th this individual has hired another drag queen to work at the school with these kids. <laughs> this has to stop. It's liberal insanity. Our kids deserve better, and we're not going to allow it here It's in a drag queen patronage mill at the elementary school. What's going on in Oklahoma? We always thought Oklahoma was pretty normal. Yeah, look, we are a red state. We have conservative, traditional values. But here's the reality. Even in red states, you've seen the left creep in. We are leading the country here in Oklahoma, fighting back on left-wing woke indoctrination. We are stripping CRT out of our schools, gender theory. We're pushing these social justice warriors out of the classroom. And, hey, we just signed an agreement this week with Prager University. We're going to have Prager University in every school across the state here. So we're very excited about that. But this is the war. This is a war for our kids' minds. It's a war on the family. It's a war on Christianity. Christianity. Deuteronomy 22.5 A woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, nor shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. God gives a dire warning to anyone who would cause a child to sin, as we read in Matthew 18, 6 and 7. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of offenses. Offenses must come, but woe to that man by whom the offense comes. Proverbs 29.2 When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when a wicked man rules, the people groan. Biden's new normal is everyone must be accepting of homosexual behavior. That everyone must accept that a boy or girl can change their gender. That there is nothing wrong with murdering a baby in the womb. Anyone that does not go along with Biden's new normal is considered an extremist. I believe God has raised up Joe Biden for such a time as this. I believe God is using Joe Biden as judgment on the United States of America. Since Biden took office, every kind of evil has run amok. God will use anyone he chooses to fulfill his purpose. And I believe that purpose for Joe Biden is the destruction of America. Psalm 1, 1 through 6, tells us the way of the righteous in the end of the ungodly. Psalm 1, 1 through 6, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff, which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. The signs of Jesus' soon return are so strong now, and the evidence is so clear, that any person willing to accept the truth can see that the end of the world as we know it is near. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. These are the ABCs of salvation. A. Admit that you're a sinner. B. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and God raised him from the dead. C. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be saved. Jesus paid the price for mankind's sin. He has provided a way to spend eternity with him and the Father. All you have to do is, Believe in the Lord Jesus 
and you will be saved. God has already done all the work. All you must do is receive, in faith, the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in Him, and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the only way of salvation. That being said, we must repent of our sins. While repentance is not a work that earns salvation, repentance unto salvation does result in works. It is impossible to truly and fully change your mind without that causing a change in action. In the Bible, repentance results in a change in behavior. Repentance, properly defined, is necessary for salvation. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! is short. Call upon the name of Jesus today.